Well, Happy New Year. Here we are in a new year looking forward to the things that God is going to do in our koinonia groups and in our own lives and in our lives of one another as we interact with each other. We're going to be thinking about the gospel a lot in this coming year. And we're going to start in a place where most of us wouldn't look, and that's in a little book, shortest letter that we have from Paul, called Philemon. You know, the gospel, uh, as we'll be saying on Sunday, makes extravagant claims, and it also has staggering implications. And it's lived out in the lives of three men, a Jewish prisoner who had changed his life when he met Christ, a Gentile, well-to-do slave owner, slave owner, and a runaway slave whose life was forfeit if he was caught. And all of them meet Christ, and in the midst of that, they enter into a relationship with one another. And so Philemon is a lot about what the gospel is and what it does and what the implications are. One of the key words in the book is koinonia, fellowship, sharing, uh, partnership. So this first time uh, in our study, we're going to be uh, focusing on the new relationship that God has established. Uh, Philemon and Paul will be the primary things, and and it's a good place to begin. I, I would guess in the first koinonia back, it's important just to spend time reconnecting and not so much focusing on the study, but there's parts of the study that re- relate directly to what does it mean to have a fellowship, a sharing uh, created by faith in Christ and a common gospel which unites people who are quite different. What will that look like? Uh, how do we interconnect with one another? So we're going to look up and see the Lord, and we're going to look around and see the new family that God's created. I hope you have a good time with it. <laughs> 